Hey there, it's Dr. Andrea here. I would love to welcome you to a very short masterclass on the five stages to becoming a global luminary. I am the managing director of Make Your Mark Global. We are a media production, personal branding, and publishing agency. And I specialize in helping light workers, healers, coaches, and experts who are soul conscious to share their message with a global audience. So I want to talk to you about becoming what I call a global luminary. A global luminary is that shining star who is in that sky so bright, shining so forcefully that people can feel your warmth, they can see your glow, and you are able to transmit a message around the world. And why would you want to do that? Well, because right now, there are millions of people on this earth who are awakening to the need to take control of their lives, of their health, of their finances, of their relationships. And so if you're a healer or a coach or a light worker, or a change maker, and you really believe that you have a message that could transform lives, that could literally make a significant impact in the world, then right now is a perfect time for you to become a global personal brand. Now, I have been at this media production game in front of the camera, behind the camera, as a writer and a producer for over 20 years. Yeah, that long. And I absolutely love helping other people do what I've done from the documentaries that I've done at the Discovery Health Channel to helping other experts on TLC, the Learning Channel, hosting um, reality shows on Gaia and the Travel Channel, to being on national television like the Oprah Winfrey Show or This Morning in the UK, Dr. Oz, CNN. It's, it's a real joy to be able to use the media and share your message in a totally authentic way and reach millions of people all at once. And now that we have the internet and it's so easy to broadcast yourself, you can start a podcast, you can publish a book, you can launch a video series or get on that TEDx stage, and then millions of people around the world have access to you and your wisdom. So I really love doing what I do because it means that I get to help activate light workers. I get to help get as a, a catalyst and help them, you know, rocket off into outer space. So these five stages of becoming a global luminary are the exact stages that I went through on my rise to sharing the stage with people like Gary Vaynerchuk and Patti LaBelle being on, uh, on TV with Oprah multiple times, hosting my own shows, and of course, delivering over 10,000 hours of keynote speeches, workshops, and presentations on huge stages around the world. I love it. But one of the things I got to do when I was the medical director and spokesperson for Discovery Health Channel before it became the Oprah Winfrey Network is I got to help other experts, other doctors and healers, who wanted to have their own show and launch their own brands. So I've been able to see from the inside of TV networks and the inside of building a, an online media presence exactly what it takes. But most importantly, this is about you really tapping into your authentic voice. Because if you try to be a copycat, if you try to be something that you're not or just try to fit into a box, it won't be sustainable. So we're talking about building sustainable success. And the reason that these five stages are something that I've now been teaching around the world to thousands of people is simply because when people used to come to me years ago and say they had a great idea for a documentary or a TV show where they wanted to get on Oprah, I found that if they didn't have some of the basic foundation in place, it wouldn't even work for them. In fact, I met a group of people who literally started like, I don't want to call it a pity party, but a, a group of individuals who went on to the Oprah Winfrey show when her show was on. And this is, you know, a show that was reaching 40 million people at a pop and then the replays. And some of these guys did not have their brands ready. So getting on a big show like that can literally break you. 
And they literally were like a group of people who commiserated about how they didn't actually get to leverage all of what being on Oprah could and should mean for them. And what's been interesting is that I've found that other people who just think, if I could just get a TED Talk, or if I could just be that keynote speaker next to you know, famous person, or just get my book out, that I would be set. But there's a lot that goes into just your foundation of your business, and there's a lot that goes into your personal preparation. Because if you really are soul-inspired and you want to live and create a heart-centered business, you want to be able to live in a way that's sustainable. And you're going to be treading an interesting and fine line between the ego wanting to be a superstar and your soul wanting to communicate a message. So enough about the backstory. Here are the five stages to becoming a global luminary. The first one is something that I call the call. If you think about that hero's journey, the call is that very first impulse, that tingling, that rumbling, that inner turmoil that says, I've got to do something different with my life. Have you been noticing that? That you feel a calling to write a book, to get on stages, to host your own workshops or retreats? Have you been feeling like there's a call for you to maybe transform your life and become an entirely new uh, entrepreneur. Maybe it's as a coach or as a healer. We call this, this first stage the call to the vision. You acknowledge that inner turmoil. You acknowledge that there's something brewing, there's something bigger than you that's calling you to step out of your comfort zone. This is a critical time for you to kind of look over what the ideal would be for you, where you would be playing with your strengths. And yes, you're going to probably do some training to improve those strengths and polish, but you really want to be looking at where would you be most fulfilled utilizing your talents in the service to others. So that's the first stage. It's something we call the call. And if you'd like some help kind of figuring out how do you use all of your talents and skills to build a heart-centered business, I have a free mini class. You can just listen to some audios that were very useful for me because with all of my background as a medical doctor, as an acupuncturist, <laughs> as a positive psychology coach, I had all these different things that I like to do with my coaching and healing, uh, as well as a meditation teacher, and of course, as a conscious media and branding specialist. And so I take you through a process on that mini class for you to figure out how do I package up all of my talents and make this into something that can actually be helpful for the rest of the world. And so um, that is the call, and that's that first stage. And once you have accepted the calling and you say yes, ooh, that's when things get juicy because it means when you say yes to the universe or the divine or whatever, your higher self, you're going to start putting into motion so many things that are going to draw to you opportunities and experiences for you to improve and shine. The next stage that you will arrive at on this journey to becoming that global luminary is something that we call the position stage. This is when you are going to work on what we call your platform. Your, your brand platform includes your brand identity. Now, this is the very most important fundamental part of building your platform. The brand identity is something that we help people with uh, in our online authentic personal branding boot camp. It's a 10-day boot camp. And we help you figure out who are you? If you were really to align your values and your strengths and you were able to craft a single phrase that describes your brand position, your underlying philosophy and the problems that you are aimed to solve in the world. That is the first step of building your platform. You have to know who you are and what you stand for. So we help people develop their brand identity. And then once you really know who you are and what you stand for, then you can start to look at, okay, well, how does that look? 
and we help you create your style book or a style um, encyclopedia that inc includes the fonts, the colors, the imagery. What are you going to display on the outside world, on your website, brochures, or business cards that really represents you and who you are? The brand dictionary or brand encyclopedia is something that we do at Make Your Mark Global that some, some other branding agencies don't. And this includes any key message points, your philosophy, um, taglines, but also the tone of voice. Are you a very serious, straight ahead kind of person? Are you a little goofy and wacky? Are you super woo woo like me these days? It includes you know, your tone of voice and your language style. The other piece of your you know, brand platform that you really have to have in place before you try to get on TV or in some magazine or launching a book is understanding your niche. That is the target audience that you are perfectly poised to serve. Who is your avatar? Who is that ideal customer that you can actually um, transform? So we really help you develop your full storyline and the full demographics in our authentic personal branding bootcamp. So before you even launch a blog, that, those are all of the things that you do. And then you can start thinking about your core content. Before you get on TV or anywhere else, you've got to have your website, your logo, your photo with some core content so that if someone gets curious about you, whether from a social media post or seeing you on a TV show or on someone's podcast, they're going to want more. And so you want to make sure that you have um, enough content that gives the underlying messages about who you are and what you stand for. And then that's when you can really make sure it's all tied together with a cohesive and consistent style across all of your platforms. That means your colors, your imagery, your logo, um, any photos that you're going to use should be consistent across all of these. And the final thing that's part of the platform stage or the, the positioning stage are something that we call lead magnets, where you're going to start inviting people to join your email list. Now, this next stage, the third stage on your way to becoming a global luminary, is something that we call the presentation stage. And this is finally where you get to establish your credibility. You may have had those lead magnets that are getting people in, but now you want to prove to them that you actually are an expert in whatever it is you say you're an expert in. And when we talk about um, becoming an authority, becoming a, an authentic authority, we're talking about really elevating your prestige. Um, I host a free masterclass that you can, you can watch online where I take you through the three R's of how you do build up your authority. It's all about becoming recommended, recognized, and respected so that you have all the social proof, you have introduction from experts, you have all of that good stuff. Finally, we get to stage four, which is the promotion stage. Now again, most people want to jump straight to this. They think, I know how great I am. My clients and my family tell me how great I am. I want to be promoted. I want to be on TV. You know, I want to be with these influencers and on their summits. No, my friend, that's actually stage four. So in, in stage four, we talk about promotion, but it's about partnering and collaborating. This is a key distinction for the soul conscious uh, light worker, healer, coach, or entrepreneur. When you are on your way to becoming a global luminary, the key here is to think about sustainability. You don't want to become a star that like fizzles out. You want a sustainable career that can grow and evolve as you grow and evolve. And so when we get to the promotion stage, it's not about, hey, put me up on stage, let me get in there. This is about how can I partner with the media? How can I partner with other collaborators, um, influencers? How can I do uh, joint ventures or speak at large events, but always with an eye towards partnership and collaboration? Not in what's in it for me, how can I get as much money and get as many signups and sell as many books? This is a very key distinction and it's something that, that we take very seriously at Make Your Mark Global because we don't take on just anyone to promote unless they have that as a fundamental aspect of their character and their values. And I highly recommend that you 
really do some soul searching and consider that as well. You don't want to be one of those people that just kind of pushes your way to the top and then you will find that you get very lonely because people won't want to work with you. They won't want to come back. You want to build relationships. So that's really a key. Um, I find that doing TV and radio and media for me comes naturally. But for many people, public speaking and being on TV is very scary. So I host a media success program where I take you for the, through the five keys of becoming media ready so that you can get on any stage, any podcast, uh, or any TV show and really feel confident that you know how to communicate your message clearly, succinctly, and in a way that you can call people into action or to join whatever program or relationship you're offering. And the other piece of the promotion aspect that we offer at Make Your Mark Global is our uh, authentic speaker training. We do something called Speak from the Heart, which is uh, hosted uh, here in the French Riviera. And I teach you how to speak authentically from the heart, which means you don't have to have everything memorized. Nothing has to be absolutely perfect. You know, believe me, I've made that mistake. As a doctor getting on stages, I used to rely on all the facts and the figures and having my PowerPoint perfect. And that can work if you're doing something very, very technical, like trying to save a life, teaching people how to lower cholesterol. That was fine. But as soon as you step over into the, the transformational space and, space and you want to help people really on a spiritual level, an emotional level, or in their relationships, they want to feel connected to you from the heart. They want to know that you are a real, live human, that you care for them. And so our Speak From The Heart training really does wonders in that way because it allows me to bring my nerdy neuroscience background with positive psychology and conversational intelligence to the stage. Um, so that's a beautiful training that we do, and you know, I think you'll enjoy it. And then the final stage is something we call expansion. So maybe along the way, maybe during the authority stage, you did write a book, which is key for most people who need to establish their authority, that you really are an expert and getting some of the brilliance out of your brain and heart into you know, pages or an electronic form. Um, but in the expansion stage, this is really where you can look at becoming this glowing light that people in multiple countries can contact. So much so that you will be shining so bright that people will be willing to travel to you. And that's really that final stage where you are like a supernova. <laughs> so you've gone from being the awakening star where you're feeling that call to really transform to a rising star where you're, you're figuring out your position and your branding. And then you're this shining star. You're presenting yourself on stages, on TV, on summits, and what have you. And then you can get into this global expansion where you're moving towards supernova status. And that's when we really look at helping you with big stages, with big joint ventures, with uh, hosting events in other countries, those, those high ticket items that people would be willing to travel for. Um, so that gives you just a sense of where we go when we're talking about becoming a global luminary. Um, it's something that I love. It's, it's something that I live. I'm still uh, shining brightly in my new role as an activator for light workers, helping people with their conscious media strategy. And also, you know, just staying grounded and connected to the spiritual side and the energy side of what we can do. Because we really can transform people's lives just standing on stage. Even before you open your mouth, there is an ability that each of us has to start transmitting energy before we even step into that room or onto that stage. And so that's really what our specialty is at Make Your Mark Global. We help people learn how to bring all of that together. So I would love to see you at one of our events. Um, we're, we're hosting things for each stage of this journey towards becoming a global luminary and publishing books, whether it's your book by yourself or one of our group books, where we offer the full training on how to actually write stories with soul, which is a workshop that we teach here in France for all of our authors, and how to transmit 
your personal experiences into written form so that the reader actually goes on a journey of transformation and discovery with you. We publish group books at Make Your Mark Global. Um, probably this year we'll do three, maybe four of them. And these are a wonderful opportunity for you to grow as a, a, an arising star uh, and a luminary, but also to start transmitting your message and your methodology across the world. So I hope that this has been helpful for you to get a sense for each of the stages that we logically progress through as we become a global brand. You don't want to miss any of those steps. Now, you don't necessarily have to do everything. If you don't want to be a speaker, you don't have to. If you don't want to be on television, you don't have to. You can pick and choose along the way. But as long as you've got that, that foundation of knowing who you really are and knowing how to communicate who you really are, the sky's the limit, baby. So I thank you so much for your kind attention. And if you have questions, feel free to shoot me an email. It's Andrea at MakeYourMarkGlobal.com. Until we meet again, my friend, know this, that if there is a burning desire inside of you to communicate something, whether through books, television, radio, podcasts, or on stage, know this, it means there is already an audience waiting for you. It's time for your voice, your message, your energy, and your heart to be shared with the world. So I look forward to seeing you on a stage or on a podcast somewhere soon.